Hey, so slider velocity. More commonly known as SV, these are values that determine how fast or how slow notes go in a taiko map. There are two types of SV, the base SV and SV multipliers, added by inherited points. The base SV can be found under the timings tab here. This determines the SV for the whole map. The higher this value, the faster the notes go. The lower this value, the slower the notes go. In Taiko, the ranking criteria guidelines state that the base SV must be 1.4, the default value. I've rarely seen ranked maps that don't use 1.4, so if you're new, I'd recommend just sticking with it. Unlike the base SV, which affects the entire map, SV multipliers affect only a certain section of the map. These are the green lines that appear on the timeline. One green line indicates at what time an SV multiplier has been put in place. The multiplier then affects every note that comes after it until another multiplier changes its value. This is what mappers usually mean when they talk about SV. You can add these into the map by pressing F6 on the Compose tab, clicking the plus icon, and then changing the multiplier value to these three options. Or clicking Custom and adding your own value. The range of SVs you can input in here are between 0.01 and 10. An important thing to mention is that you can also copy SV multipliers. When you open the Timings window, press Ctrl C on the multiplier you want to copy. Then you can press Ctrl V at what time you want to paste the SVs onto the timeline. However, sometimes when copying and pasting multiple SVs at once, some of the SVs may be inaccurate due to rounding errors. This means sometimes the multiplier points can be one millisecond after the note, meaning that it doesn't affect the note itself. This can cause dislocation between the bar line and the note, which is unrankable. Because of this, it is best practice to move SVs you copy and paste back by a few milliseconds, or use Mapset Verifier, an external program I will link in the description. Now, why would you want to change the speed at which notes go? Well, its main usage is to emphasize or represent parts of the song which you couldn't otherwise with regular notes. For an example, take this. This is an example of what is called a ninja finisher. Finishers which you have very little time to react to, and more often than not, one which you have to use the rhythm of the song to play accurately than simply reading the note. This is emphasized a sudden kick drum that plays in the music after a whole bar of silence, representing the suddenness of the impact. This is often the purpose of SVs, to emphasize parts of the song by increasing their difficulty to play by making it harder to read. Another example is this. You can see here that the mapper has put SVs on every note in the section, with the values of these SV points increasing little by little over time. This has been done to represent the white noise getting increasingly higher and higher in pitch until the climax, which has been represented by a fast finisher. So, while the notes of the map are representing the drums and the main tune, the SV is representing the increasing tension caused by the white noise. You might be wondering how mappers have the time to place all these slider velocities in their maps. Well, they don't. More likely than not, they're using a program called Beatmap Help Tool. This is a program that does many things that help out Taiko mappers. Nifty made a helpful guide explaining everything the tool can do, which I'll leave a link to in the description. But if you just want to know how to do SVs, here's how. When opening the tool, you have to select a .oc file. You can search through your whole OC songs folder to find the map you want, or what I do is go to the map you want to edit, go to the top left where it says file, and select open song folder. You then select the file path and copy it over. From there, select the difficulty you want to edit. Let's say you want to increase the stream's SV from 1 to 1.2. From the drop down of the tool, select Add Inherited Points to change SV smoothly. Then, click Activate Between Time Mode. In the Compose tab, without having anything selected, go to the first time of the note you want to edit and press Ctrl C. Then, Ctrl V this value into Copy the Time. Do the same for the last note. Then input 1 into the first SV box, and then 1, 2 into the last SV box, making sure to use a comma, not a period. Now go to the editor and press Ctrl L. This will refresh the map and your SV should be put in place. Now you know how to use SV. How do you effectively utilize it to make an interesting map? I would recommend just messing around with the tool, but more importantly, looking at other maps to gain inspiration.
There's three maps I'd like to talk about in this video that I think utilize the SV in a creative and effective way, which you may be able to draw inspiration from. The first of which is Dungeon Music by Ice OC. This map has ninja finishes of alternating colors every bar, testing the player's rhythmic and memorization skill. The map has done a good job in easing the player into this by making the SV on the finishes slower at first, making it more readable, and gradually increasing the SVs to make the player rely more on memorization than reading. There's also another interesting part near the end of the map that only uses cats, where the normal notes are fast and the finishes are slow. This makes the finishes be hidden behind the normal notes, again making it easier to memorize their rhythms than to read them. The second map is Super Slow Internet Song by Pokari Sweat. This map juxtaposes lower speed with high density patterns to make a map that tests the player's reading. The song's tune and rhythms are double the BPM of the drum beat of the song, so while the notes represent the main melody, the SVs are representing the drum beat. As the map goes on, the notes get longer and more rhythmically complicated to get a smooth transition of difficulty over time. Although this map isn't ranked, getting inspiration for maps from Loved or even Graveyard can be very useful. Finally, Hacker by Genjiro. This map uses a lot of SV concepts to emphasize and represent many parts of this complex death grip song, such as these wavy streams representing arpeggios, created by increasing and decreasing SV every 4 notes. These streams where there is repetition of decreasing SV every 4 notes. And these alternated colour streams, where the cats are decreasing in SV at a faster rate than the dots. This map is filled with interesting SV concepts that both represent and emphasise parts of the song, and those that can be studied for inspiration. Of course, these are not the only SV maps out there, and I'll link some more in the description that I personally think uses SV well. It's also important to note that SV isn't a requirement for your map to be good. There are many maps out there that use very little or no SV at all, and are perfectly fine. Remember, SV is meant to be used to emphasise or represent parts of the song that notes couldn't otherwise. If the notes represent the song accurately enough themselves, it is probably best not to add a lot of SVs. Anyway, yeah. That's the basis of how to use SV in Taika. I hope you've learned something new in this video, and like always, see you next time.